guys and welcome to another edition to French Shade Designs. I want to thank anyone that has taken the time out their day to view my video. I wanted to come in and just show to you guys how I am staying organized with my medications and kind of give you a list of the medications that I have and um, what my storage and is for this medication so as you can see i have the my vitro caboodle kit it honestly just reminds me of a nice caboodle set and that keeps me very well organized it comes with um dividers so you can easily divide up these containers how you want to it comes with this divide um dividers such as this and it has three different levels so we're just gonna go and i'm gonna <clears throat> i'm gonna go from the top level and work my way down so this particular medicine here i've taken everything out of its original packaging just so i would be able to store it better this is one box of the minipure so this is five doses and the mineral pure comes in the powder form as well as the sodium um, chloride injection that makes the powder form dissolvable. The particular ones that I have do come with a Q-tip, a Q-cap, I mean. So um, I will be using this to inject the saline, the solution into um, the powder form so that I can get the medicine in its its entirety the next thing that's to this next to it is my Ganorelix injections these come already pre loaded it has a safety um, cap on top of it and I did go ahead and take it out the box because it does have the Ganorelix acetate name on there so it will make it easy for me to be able to see what this is the next row of medications are going to be my progesterone these are my progesterone shots and the progesterone shots come in a, the ones I have come in a 50 milligram um, container and I would you know literally pop the top off of that and start taking these and um, I haven't gotten my full protocol calendar yet because we're still waiting for the start date of my next cycle, but these will generally be taking once we have done the egg retrieval and we're prepping for the transfer. This right here is my Lupron. I have one injection of this and should the doctor choose to use this Lupron as my trigger shot, I will have this with me for that so i have that one in here the next container are my estradiol patches which i am currently using at the moment i have to wear one of these which i started on december 11th and i switch it out every three days so today is december 14th and i did put a fresh one on this morning i try to do it somewhere between 8 30 and 9 o'clock my nurse did tell me that i should do it generally at the same time every day i mean every time that i put them on it should be the same time when i change it this is my doxycycline and this is an antibiotic that was prescribed to me so that um, when I'm ready to prep for the transfer, I'll be able to start, I will be taking these in preparations for the transfer. And once I get my protocol, I will go into great detail of everything that I have. I do have my needles also on this bottom level. All the needles that I will need are down here. The only reason why these are up here is because I don't recall if the Q caps actually say menopore on them. And they don't. So I kept the Q, Q caps up here so that I could be able to tell what it is. But now that I know what it is, I'm probably gonna move it down to this side right here because these are all of my 
needles. This particular needle right here is going to go with my gonal F pin. And I will show you the gonal F pin in the next segment when I move into where I keep the storage, um, the storage of the medications and the excess of medicine. I did go in and write down which what each needle is for because um, as you can tell, this particular needle here is to draw up the progesterone, which was this, this bottle right here. But this needle is used to inject it. So after I use the first needle to draw it up, I am to then um, use a different needle to inject it. And the same thing goes for the Minipure. I use this needle and I did the same thing with these. I wrote down what they were for draw Minipure. And this is the needle that I would use to pop on top of the Q cap. I could either use this needle itself or I could use the Q cap. My um, doctor wrote the prescription out so that I would have both in case the Minipure came in either form. So I literally would just um, take this needle top off and use that to put the Minipure, to draw the Minipure. So the next segment, you'll be seeing me actually um, showing you how I store the excess of the medication. Alrighty, we are now going to take a look at how I store all my excess medicine. This is a storage container. You can get this anywhere. I think I've got this particular one at Walmart or Roses. No, I got this at Roses. It was $10.99 at Roses. On the bottom is where I have all of my excess needles in case it does take more than one um cycle to go i do have the needles here in here i have my minipure and this is how your minipure is going to come in the box and i have minipure here and i have minipure here and as well as my Ginorelix. This is how your Ginorelix is going to look in the box as well. I mean, it could differ, but this is how my Ginorelix came in. It came in the box just like this. I do have seven of these for the month. And I put 14 in the other, in, in my actual, my vitro caboodle, just in case I am going to need to, if he's going to need me to up the dosage. Up here, you're going to see more of the Minipure, and that's why these are down here, because I've ran out of space. The medicine that is not pictured is my Gonalef. So, your Gonalef has to be refrigerated, and this is my Gonalef, and this is how I keep this um, stored. I do have this mini fridge separate from everybody else's things so that no one has to accidentally mess with any of my injections or not. I actually have uh, quite a bit of these. I did um, luck up and was able to get um, all of my refills done prior to the appointment prior to stems and I do have another medication in here that is required to be refrigerated and that is the overdrill but upon me switching practices the new physician is not asking me to do the overdrill so this is just excess and I keep that in here um, up here I have an ice pack this ice pack is to um, freeze and numb any part of my, my, my body where I feel that I need to um, numb it. And this white one is that also, this is actually a pack that came with the Gonalef and I just felt like we're using it. So, um, we're gonna come up here and I'm just gonna show you my preparations. This can I got this container here from Five Below, and in here I have band aids at the bottom, gauze in the middle, and alcohol wipes here on the top. 
Um, some pharmacies send you all of those items um, with your medications. Mine happened to not do so. So I got all of those. The, the alcohol wipes I got online on Amazon. But the other items I got right out of Dollar Tree. Now, this is what I'm really excited that I got. This is a Numb Master. It's a topical um, anesthetic cream. I plan on using this to numb my stomach and we'll just numb the area of the injection and we'll see i've not used it i broke the seal just to see what it smelled like but it, that's how the packaging comes i got this off of amazon and we're going to definitely see how this works out with the injections i also ordered some itching cream some um benadryl anti-itching cream i got the extra strength just because i've um did some research and talked with a few ladies who have already went on this journey before and they say that the medication some of the medications can make you itch i had to order a sharps container due to the simple fact that my medication um, my pharmacy did not send me with one and so I ordered this one on Amazon very cost efficient I think I paid 11 or 12 dollars for this so I'll you know feel more safe with that sharps container I did create me a sweets um, center so I have three of my favorite candies in here and every time I do an injection I'm going to treat myself to one of those kind of have a sweet and happy moment with it Another thing I suggest is to be very organized. I have a three ring binder that I keep everything in. This is my tentative calendar. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a more in-depth calendar with when I'm supposed to take the injections and um, the dosages. But right now, my tentative date of starting stimulations is the 20th. I go to get my COVID test on the 16th and I go to get my med class this day as well. I would say write and document everything. I have an inventory list of everything that I've received. This particular medicine is not up to date only because I know I have two more coming in the mail, but I have documented everything. And by me documenting everything, when I switched the clinics, I was able, when he asked questions, I was able to give him answers instantly. Here is insurance coverage in case the doctor needed that the list of supplements that i've taken all of the tests that i've done even down to the conversations of individuals that i've spoken to throughout this whole process these are the folder that he gave me i mean i literally kept everything in that's binder to keep me organized. Another thing that I have gotten from my vitro is this medicine pad here. You can load your medicine on here. Then um, it's easier to sanitize and be secure. It has two sides. Once you get your calendar, you can put your calendar in this pocket here and just sanitize this side to hold and stabilize your injections when you're ready to get your injections. But that is it. I just wanted to bring you guys in and let you guys see the sanctuary of the fertility. I did um, do vision boards right before the first um, consultation. So I have these in here just as reminders. Every time I go in here, this is my closet to remind me what is going on. I have not updated that board, the chalkboard yet, because I'm going to update it once we do stems. We are due to uh, start my cycle this Friday, so we're gearing up for STEMs to begin this week. So thank you guys for another edition. I know this is a very quick video of what of um, what I have in stock and how I store it, but I hope this was helpful for anyone. I will I will um, definitely recommend getting the my vitro. That has been a very easy and welcoming helper with making sure I have everything together. You again, thanks for watching and have a great day.